This is the five element Qigong practice. We'll start standing with the feet hips distance apart, resting the hands on the lower abdomen or dantian, centering and steadying. For women, the left hand is placed over the right, and for men, the right over the left. This five element practice will begin with metal. Metal is associated with our lungs and large intestine and the season of autumn. Starting our practice with metal invites a connection to the vital resource of our breath. In this way, we support our body's ability to breathe in what inspires us and let go of what holds us back. We also open to the potential of transformation, inspiration, and purity. We'll start by letting the feet come together, hands by the side. Then inhale, step one foot out, and lift the hands forward and then inward, bending the elbows back. Exhale, bend the knees, and press the palms forward from the sides of the ribs and lungs. As you inhale, the crown of the head lifts and the arms draw softly in. Exhale, you release, step the foot back in, hands softening down. Second side, the other foot steps out. Inhale, the hands lift forward and up, gathering healthy, vibrant chi. Exhale from the sides of the ribs, pressing forward and moving out, stale, stagnant chi. Inhale, lift from the crown of the head, retracting the arms. Exhale, the foot steps back in as you lower the hands, clearing and letting go. Begin again. Inhale, step out to the side, gathering what inspires you. Exhale, press the hands from the sides of the ribs forward, moving out what you no longer need. Inhale, lift the crown, your elbows retract in. Exhale, foot steps back to the other, letting go. Then step out with the other foot, gathering a sense of purity, quality and characteristic of metal. Exhale, moving out what you don't need, such as toxicity or waste. Inhale, taking in what's pure to the lungs. Then exhale, step in, letting go of waste, a function of the large intestine. Breathing in, step a foot out and gather clean, pure chi for your lungs. Breathing out and pressing out, feel how this can strengthen the muscles around the lungs and mid-back. Breathing in, retract the arms and lift the crown toward the heavens. Breathing out, release the arms and step the feet together. Continue moving the body with the breath in the same way. In Chinese medicine, metal relates to the precious metals deep in the earth, as well as to the enduring strength of mountains. Metal inspires us to remember what is of most value in our lives and what is the source for integrity, dignity, and courage. When in balance, we experience these qualities. When out of balance, we may tend toward being harsh, cutting, or self-righteous. We can also cling to ideas or loss, which prevents us from moving forward in life with lightness and new possibilities. Exhale here, releasing the hands down, the feet together. As you breathe in, Gather integrity, courage, and dignity. As you breathe out, explore how you let go of what obstructs these qualities in your life. Breathe in and soften the arms. Breathe out, release. Last and fifth cycle. Step out and breathe in what helps you find inner strength that can inspire you. When you breathe out, let go of burdens you hold on to that keep you back. Inhale, move the head towards the lightness of the sky. Exhale, release the arms back toward the steadiness of the earth. And step the feet apart once more, gathering with the hands to complete the metal element practice with a clearing. 
and clear out residual toxicity or waste that may have been stirred up from the movement. In the wake of what you might clear out, fill with what inspires you, gives you strength and courage, qualities of metal and balance. Finish by replacing the hands on the Dantian, left over right for women, right over left for men. Breathe. Notice the effects of the metal element form in the body. The next element is water, associated with winter in the organs of the kidneys and urinary bladder. The feet step together. Inhale, step one foot out to the side, opening the arms back, then up toward the sky. Exhale, as you breathe out, bend your knees as you fold forward and down. Then as you breathe in, trace the hands along the backs of your legs. This is the urinary bladder meridian. Making soft fists, exhale and lightly tap your kidneys. Breathe in here, open the palms over the kidneys. Breathe out, trace down the same lines of the backs of the legs, your urinary bladder line. Then inhale to the inner ankles, tracing the inner legs to the knees, thighs, and groins. This is the kidney meridian. Exhale, step the foot back in, releasing the hands down. Second side, other foot steps out. You open your arms back, then up overhead in a gentle back bend. Exhale, fold forward and down. Hands tracing the backs of the legs as you breathe in, rolling up. Then tap the kidneys lightly with the hands and breathe out. Take an in-breath and open the palms. Exhale, trace back down the backs of the legs and to the inner legs. As you breathe in, rise up, tracing the hands along the kidney meridian line. As you breathe out, step the foot back to the other, releasing. Continue, inhale, the foot steps out, opening the arms back and overhead. Exhale, knees bend as you fold forward and down. Inhale, hands on the backs of the legs, tracing all the way up to the kidneys. Exhale, a light tap. Take a breath in, open the hands, take a breath out, and move the hands down the backs of the legs. As you breathe in, Trace along the inner legs all the way to the groins. Exhale, foot steps back to the other, releasing the arms. Inhale, other foot steps out. Knees soft as you open and reach up and back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, moving up the backs of the legs. Exhale, a light tap to the kidneys. Take a breath in. Out breath, fold, tracing down the backs of the legs. Then up the inner legs as you breathe in and release, stepping the foot back to the other as you breathe out. Continue, stepping out, inhale. Water in Qigong and Taoism is the most yin of the elements. It is also the most prevalent element in our body. We are between 60 to 70% water. As an element, it can be still and reflect everything around it. Its characteristic is also fluid, adaptable, and soft. It always finds the gentlest path to follow. It also possesses a deep tenacity and power. In time, water's strength carves the Grand Canyon. It takes the most jagged rock surface and turns it into polished stone. It's associated with wisdom, listening, and deep knowing. And when we do this type of Qigong practice, we foster these qualities in a fluid, natural way. Two more rounds. Inhale as you reach back. You stimulate your urinary bladder meridian that runs like a great river through the body, from the toes up through the backs of the legs and spine, all the way up to the eyes. When you tap, you stimulate Ming Men, 
or the gate of life. Folding, tracing your bladder line. Rising up the kidney line. Exhale and release. Second side, the bladder in Chinese medicine is related to our inborn potential for brightness, like sunlight in the eyes of a child. When balanced, our bladder helps regulate how we store and utilize our energy or qi reserves. It also affects our will and drive. The kidneys regulate our bones and reproductive health. They help govern how we grow and age. They also connect us to our wisdom, depth, and purpose. Last round, stepping out, arms lift overhead. Exhale and fold. The kidneys are home to our body's essence, known as Jing. We're given this essence at birth by our parents. We can think of essence as our potential Throughout our lives, we have the opportunity to use and transform our potential into knowledge, a characteristic associated with water. An obstacle to this potential, however, can be fear, the emotion associated with water in Chinese medicine and Qigong. Healthy fear is good. It helps us take action and find safety in dangerous situations. Too much or a lack of fear, however, can cause imbalance. Ideally, balanced water enables us to transform our fear into knowledge, wisdom, and insight. Finish stepping the feet together. Then, step the feet hips distance apart, gathering the qualities of water in balance, wisdom, strength, inner stillness, a connection with a deeper life's purpose. Fill with these qualities. At the same time, you can clear out anxiety or tendencies for a lack of or too much fear. When you're finished, rest the hands on the lower dantian. Left yin hand over right yang hand for women, the reverse for men. And take a moment to observe the way the body feels after completing the elements of metal and water, noticing any sensations. Then we'll prepare for the third practice in the elemental qigong forms of wood. Wood associates with the season of spring and the organs of the liver and gallbladder. We start with the feet together. Then inhale, step one foot out, knees bent. Begin to trace the fingers up from the inner medial side of the front thighs to the space beneath your ribs. This is the liver meridian. Exhale, use gentle pressure on the skin as you press the heels of the hands into the body. Massage, you press down toward the abdomen. Inhale, your arms forward for a position called embrace tree. Exhale and release. The same foot steps back in, the arms come down. Second side, stepping out, knees bent. Inhale, trace the fingers up the same line, the inner medial thighs, all the way up to the ribs. Exhale, press the heels of the hands into the body, moving them down. Inhale, your arms forward as though they could wrap around an invisible large trunk of a tree. Exhale, release, step that same foot back in, lowering the arms. This repeats. Inhale, step out and trace the fingers up the inner thighs, which is the liver meridian line. Exhale and press the hands into the organs. On the right side you have the liver and gallbladder. Inhale, extend the arms and hands forwards, shoulders soft, elbows slightly bent. Exhale and release, stepping the foot back in. Inhale, step out with the other foot, drawing the fingers along the liver meridian, which relates to clear planning and vision. 
Exhale, press gently into the organs. Inhale, arms forward like a solid rooted tree with flexible, strong branches. Exhale, the foot steps in and release. Continue with the same movement and breathing pattern, stepping out. Wood is related to vision, clear perspective, and plans. When in balance, it helps us manifest our dreams. It also encourages us to stay flexible, creative, and resourceful, especially when our plans are thwarted. Trees are good this way. They meet obstacles like rocks, pipes, or even buildings, and simply grow around them. We humans can learn a lot from the resourcefulness of trees, especially when our plans go astray. The emotion associated with wood is anger. Anger can be healthy anger, directed toward positive social change, for example. We can also have too much anger or not enough, resulting in meekness, aggression, or violence. When we have balanced wood, it manifests as kindness. I often think of Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech. Dr. King's vision of a world where kindness and love would defeat the powers of hatred, violence, and fear is really good, clear, balanced wood. As you exhale, feel that clarity, kindness, root into the body. Inhale the arms forward with steadiness and rootedness. Exhale, release. This is the last round. Inhale, step out, gathering your capacity for clarity, kindness, and flexibility. Exhale, affirm these qualities in your body and mind. Inhale, arms forward around the strength and flexibility of a tree. Exhale, the feet together and release. Then, gathering the qualities of wood in balance, clear direction, growth, vision, and kind intention. Fill with these qualities. In the wake of these qualities filling into your body, you can also clear out misdirected frustration, irritation, or anger. Aspects of wood that may arise when the element is out of balance. Then to finish, bring the hands in to rest on the lower dantian. Left over right for women and right over left for men. Taking a moment, noticing how the body feels having practiced the elemental forms of Qigong so far. How do these resonate for you in an embodied sense? The next element in our series is fire. Fire relates to summer and the organs of the heart, small intestine, pericardium, and triple heater. Step the feet together to begin. Then step one foot out to the side, knees bent. Inhale, join the outer edges of the pinky fingers together and lift the arms overhead toward the sky. Exhale, turn the fingertips toward the earth, backs of the hands rolling together. Slide the hands down the center line of the body. Inhale, the arms out to the sides like a parasol. Exhale, the same foot steps back in. Second side, inhale, step the other foot out to the side, joining the outer edges of the pinkies together and reaching the arms toward the sky. Exhale, roll the backs of the hands toward each other and slide the hands down the center line. Inhale, float the arms out to the two sides, shoulders soft, elbows relaxed. Exhale, the foot steps back in. This repeats. Inhale and step out, scooping up light and warmth with the hands toward the sun. Exhale, hands draw the sunlight down the center line. 
Inhale, the arms up to the sides. Exhale, release and step the foot back in. Second side, stepping out. Inhale and join the outer edges of the pinkies where the small intestine meridian starts. Exhale, bend your knees. Fingers point toward the earth as you trace the center line lightly down. Inhale, the arms to the side. Exhale, foot steps back in. Continue with this movement and breathing pattern. The outer edges of the pinkies are the start of the small intestine meridian channel. The small intestine is a filter for the heart. Its job is to separate the pure from impure, allowing the heart to communicate its essence. Other fire meridians run through your hands, fingers, and arms. And these include the heart, the heart protector called the pericardium, and triple heater. The triple heater, or san jiao, isn't an organ. It's a thermostat that regulates the body's temperature. As you inhale and step out again, inner edges of the pinkies together, gather what is pure into your hands. Exhale, the hands help separate out what is impure, leaving the heart clean and bright. Inhale, the arms extend gently out. Exhale, release. Second side. The heart in Chinese medicine is the supreme sovereign of the body. It's often equated to the sun, giving light, love, and warmth through the queendom or kingdom of your body. The heart functions best when pure, calm, and tranquil. Last round, stepping up. Like the other elements, fire can become excessive or deficient. We can burn too hot or feel like there's barely a flicker of light. Agitation and overstimulation tend to burden the heart, as do separation and loss caused by heartache or pain. Last round. Inhale and gather gentleness, ease, tranquility in the hands. Exhale and feed this calm tranquility into your heart as a gift. Inhale, the arms extend out like angels' wings. Exhale and release, like soft angels' wings that can soothe and grant peace. To finish, step the feet wider for comfort and gather. Take in qualities of the heart in balance, compassion, calm, tranquility, and love. Then fill with these qualities into the heart. In the wake of this filling, invite tendencies toward agitation or restlessness to clear out. In this way, you can begin to support the radiant, warm, generous capacity of the heart when in balance. And then when you're ready, again, rest the hands on the lower Dantian, left over right for women, right over left for men. Take a moment to observe what you feel in Chinese, this is called guan cha, or observation. Observation is what helped formulate many of the Taoist beliefs. Their understandings about the cyclical movements of the seasons and patterns in the world arose through the simple act of observing. The seasons cycled through each other year in and year out. Life moved through cycles of renewal and decay. They witnessed the possibility of these cycles and their harmonious flow. Then slide the hands apart and prepare for the fifth elemental Qigong practice of earth. Earth relates to the organs of the stomach and spleen and to the season of late summer. Earth is steady and centered it balances all the other elements. In practicing Qigong earth forms, we can foster a sense of steadiness as we move toward the close of our five element forms. Inhale and step out. Both hands will reach out, 
and then all the way up and back behind you. Exhale and turn all the way around to the other side. The bottom palm will face the earth while the top hand faces the sky like it's holding a platter. Inhale and look over the back elbow that's bending. Exhale, the top hand lowers down to brush the earth. As you breathe in, both arms move out to the sides. As you breathe out, the foot steps back in next to the other, arms releasing down. Second side, the other foot steps out, and you inhale the hands all the way up and back, both palms facing up. Exhaling, you turn. Top hand holds the platter, bottom hand palm faces the earth. You then inhale and look over that back elbow. Exhale, the top hand floats down and touches the earth. Inhale, the arms move out to the sides again, shoulders relax. Exhale, the foot steps back in to meet the other. Then we start the second round. The foot steps out, the arms sweep out toward that same side. Exhaling, your top hand holds a platter, bottom hand towards the earth as you spin around. Take a breath in as you look past the back elbow. Exhale, the top hand then sweeps down toward the earth, touching the earth. Inhale, the arms up. And exhale, the foot steps back in. Inhale, stepping out, other side. The arms reach out. Exhale, bend your knees, spinning around. Top hand holds the platter, bottom hand faces the earth. Breathing in as you turn around and look past the back elbow. Breathing out, top hand touches the earth. Inhale, both arms out, hands soft. Exhale, feet back together. Continue a few more rounds like this. Inhale, stepping out and reaching the arms back. When you turn, cultivate an ease and steadiness in your movements. This is a quality related to the earth element, which governs ease and smooth transitions. The earth rotates smoothly on its axis each day, as well as orbits steadily around the sun each year. Second side. Earth element also relates to the ability to maintain balance and hold center. Whether in our bodies or in our lives, finding balance involves managing a number of opposing forces at once. In balance, Earth helps us manage these forces and feel centered. Out of balance, we tend to feel overwhelmed and ungrounded. Earth also relates to our sense of home and belonging. This planet Earth is where we humans and the myriad creatures that share our world live and breathe. In balance, the Earth element gives us the support and nourishment that comes with feeling at home. Out of balance, we can sometimes feel uprooted or unfulfilled. The organs associated with Earth, the stomach and spleen, relate to our ability to receive this nourishment, digest it, and transform it. The stomach's role is to digest and integrate chi not only from the foods we eat, but also our thoughts and emotions. The spleen's role is to transform everything we ingest, transporting it through the body. If our food, thoughts, or emotions do not digest or integrate well, we can feel physically, mentally, and emotionally heavy or stuck. This imbalance can lead to overthinking, obsession, and worry, qualities at Earth when out of balance. When our stomach and spleen are in balance, we're able to take in life's many experiences and transform them into things that nourish us. We can integrate life's experiences in a way that creates fulfillment, also a deep sense of integrity, described in Chinese medicine as Earth's primary virtue. Finishing, step the feet shoulders distance apart one more time. Inhale, gather the qualities of Earth in balance, steady, centered, 
nourished, fulfilled. Fill with these qualities, sense of belonging, of integrity, and ease. At the same time, clear out tendencies to be overwhelmed, obsessed, or overly concerned. Qualities that can appear when the earth element is out of balance. Give these out of balance qualities back to the earth like compost that can be transformed into something new. Then slide the hands onto the lower Dantian, left yin hand of a right yang hand for women, the reverse for men. Stand with the feet soft on the earth, the head lightly upward towards the heavens. Observe the qualities of the practice. Perceive how your body and your breath feel. Observe the effect of having practiced the five element Qigong sequences of metal, water, wood, fire, and earth. Invite a sense of your life energy to move fluidly through your organs and meridians, supporting your body's overall vitality and well being. And this concludes the five element Qigong practice. <laughs>